Even after the death of Hamas's leader Yahya Sinwar, Israel is continuing its offensives, killing dozens in an airstrike in northern Gaza. Lee Seung-ja reports. The Israeli military is continuing its offensives in Gaza, despite the death of Hamas's leader Yahya Sinwar. According to the Gaza Health Ministry, at least 87 people were killed by an Israeli airstrike in northern Gaza on Sunday. The ministry said 40 civilians were among the dead. However, the Israeli military says while it's confirming the exact number of casualties, its initial investigation shows that Hamas has exaggerated the figures. It added that the military is trying to avoid causing harm to civilians. Meanwhile, Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant announced on Sunday that Israeli attacks targeting pro-Iranian militant group Hezbollah in southern Lebanon are intensifying. He added that the IDF has been successful so far in not only defeating its enemy, but also destroying areas that Hezbollah had tried to use to launch airstrikes against Israel. Over the weekend, a drone was launched toward the residence of Israel's leader Benjamin Netanyahu in what he described as an assassination attempt. According to Netanyahu, the assassination attempt on him and his wife by Hezbollah was a grave mistake, and he vowed to continue fighting. The Israeli Prime Minister also spoke with former President Donald Trump on Saturday, where he emphasized that while Israel takes into account the issues Washington raises, it will be his country that will ultimately make the decisions based on its national interests. Thousands of protesters also took to the streets of Tel Aviv on Saturday, calling on the Israeli leader to sign a ceasefire deal that would lead to the release of the Israeli hostages. Relatives of hostages also took part in the protest, saying negotiations were long overdue. It's believed that 101 Israeli hostages are still being held captive by Hamas since the October 7, 2023 attack that sparked the current war in the region. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.